Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, we're doing something really special that I'm really excited for. So this morning, you know, I was minding my business, having breakfast, drinking coffee, and I heard a delivery. And I was like, oh snap, what could that be? And my beloved Anastasia Glow Kit, Nicole Guerrero's collaboration, came to my front door. And I'm just like, I was so excited. I immediately had to show my Snap fam. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, when I get new products and stuff like that, I always like to show you guys first. And then, um, yeah, I was like, shoot, I guess I'm filming today. So <laughs> you guys are going to get to see some swatches. I'm going to do um, some application onto you know my cheeks for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna give you guys my general thoughts. Now, this palette here does launch on Sephora and the Anastasia Beverly Hills website on March 3rd. So if you're planning on copying this, then you gotta go ahead, you gotta hurry up, you gotta, you know, set your alarm, whatever you gotta do, tell your best friend to get this because I have a feeling that it's really going to sell out very quickly. And if you guys don't know who Nicole Guerrero is, she's a YouTuber, she's been on YouTube since I think 2006, 2007, something like that. So she's been around for a while and um, I'm always really impressed by Anastasia's products. I feel like she never really lets you down. So I have really high hopes for this. You get six shades for 40 bucks and they're really, really pigmented from what I've seen on Nicole's Snapchat and they're supposed to be fairly like low fallout. You know, it takes a lot of time to develop a formula like that, so I think it's definitely worth the price. I am just loving that you've got three different types of pink. You've got a coral, you've got more of like a dusty lavender pink, and then just a straight up pink, and two golden colors, and then a white. I plan on using this white as like an inner corner highlight. I think it's gonna be super, super poppin'. Um, but I'm going to start with Glow Getter, and we're gonna see what this looks like. Okay, so I pinned the wig back, and I'm going to dip into this middle one here. You guys can see it here. Oh, wow. It actually has virtually no fallout when you dip your brush into it, and I'm gonna be very light-handed because I'm a little scared of the pigmentation. Ooh, oh snap. Oh, this is so beautiful. Damn, can you guys see that? Nicole was not playing. I might, I might go a little too hard here, but that's okay. So that's what it looks like right there. I'm actually gonna buff it out just a tiny bit with my stippling brush. And if you're somebody that doesn't like a super bright glow, you can always just use a stippling brush and it's gonna come out a lot more diffused. So Glow Getter is super poppin'. Like, look at that, look at that. And in person, it looks just as gorgeous. It does not highlight the pores from what I can tell. Um, it's just, I got no complaints. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a um, different color on the other side just because I wanna show you guys the difference. I'm choosing to go with the golden ones because I do have some errands to run and I don't wanna look crazy with one golden and one pink on the other side. And this color is kind of cool. The name of the shade, uh, 143, if you guys remember back to like the beeper days and like paging, 143 is like a way to say, you know, I love you. Like, you know, with the actual like numbers and stuff and what they spell out. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. It's something that Nicole says a lot on her channel. So it's meaningful, you know? All right, let's get to this other side. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Again, I'm gonna take my stippling brush and buff this out. So here's what it looks like. And I mean, you guys, these highlighters are super, super popping. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Here is Glow Getter. And then here is one, four, three. I do want to highlight, you know, the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna be a little bit more adventurous with this one. Okay, so I'm taking a regular blending brush and I'm gonna go in with Daydream, that's the coral color, and put this down. Ooh, it's got so much pigmentation. You really, I feel like this, this thing is gonna last forever, it is. 
because I mean, literally one little dab is just enough. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't know why I was scared of this coral color. It's actually really beautiful. And my favorite part is that they blend effortlessly. They are just so gorgeous. Like, you can't even tell that I'm wearing coral on my nose. It just makes my skin look luminous. So I'm very, very surprised. Um, I think that they, they did a really great job. I don't look overly highlighted. I just look like I have like just this, you know, natural pop and glow. Of course, I know that you guys wanna see swatches. Let's get to that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this arm to swatch for you guys. The first color I'm gonna go into is Kitty Cat. It's more of a pink. And I mean, there you go, you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. Minimal fallout. Next up, we've got Forever Young. Next up is Daydream. This is the coral color that I have put on my nose that blends out beautifully, so don't be scared to use this one. I mean, look at that, look. I barely even have to go over it more than once, really. The only reason I'm doing that is because I want the swatches to look even. Next up, I'm going with Forever Lit. This is the really white color. And I mean, man. You know what, looking at this, oh, this is so pretty. It almost looks a little bit more of like a hologrammy kind of color in person. Okay, so moving on to the last two. This is Glow Getter beautiful like champagne color one swipe you guys one swipe and then last but not least is one four three I mean look at it it's just they're all so beautiful so unique they definitely work for darker skin if you're somebody who's not sure um, I advise you to get on the train. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the swatches, I wanna know what your thoughts are. Is this something you'd be interested? Are you loving it so far? Are you like, eh? I wanna know down below in the comments. As for me, I'm loving it. I think it's just going to look beautiful on so many different skin tones, which I really love because I feel like for darker skin tones, like, you know, myself, you know, we're included on the love and I, I love that. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a product that I'm going to use like every day. I'm officially, officially obsessed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Be sure to tune in for the next video. If you aren't getting notifications yet for my channel, please go ahead and click that bell down below so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.